Hey guys, Philosopher here, and today we're going to try the impossible. We're going to go after a maxed doom on our on Alliance War Defense. This, this Alliance War Defense team is insane. Not only does it have a completely maxed doom, it also has a G15 6 Red Star Emma, a G15 6 Red Star Sinister, you know, 7 Red Star Mystique. I mean, this, this team is absolutely loaded. And why am I doing this? Well, uh, thanks to Scopely's matchmaking system, we are facing a 119 million TCP punch-up against the number one TCP alliance in the game, Legion Black. So uh, this is totally unwinnable. And for science, we're going to try something really unusual and something I would not recommend you doing at home. Not recommend you doing at home, uh, which is actually going to use my Shadowlands team on a massive punch up. So we have a, I have a, a 561k Shadowland team that's with war buffs, with armory, okay? And we're going to be going up against this Doom Marauders team. Now, obviously, this is almost a 200k punch up. My team is, is only a little over 500k unbuffed. So how does this team work? Why does this team even have some shot? And it's going to take some real RNG. Uh, and that's because I do have a very big white tiger, which is really a key to getting this team to work. Now, I am going to link in the description below uh, my video that gives you a guide to how you want to build your Shadowland team. It goes through the T4 order. It goes through the ISO setup. Uh, it goes through the gear priority. And as I said before, you want a huge white tiger. She does most of the killing. Uh, we also, of course, have a, I have a G14 now, Moon Knight to land his D-Bluffs, and I do have a big uh, Night Nurse, a G14 Night Nurse, who will hopefully keep this team up for a little bit. So a lot of you have been asking, because one thing I don't go over in the video is positioning. And the reason that I don't give you positioning uh, is that, frankly, there's no one right answer. And I know some content creators have been saying, here's the answer on positioning, and they're wrong. They're absolutely wrong. Uh, they're misleading you, because the passive on Electra really determines is on, a, on, the, uh, on the first order level whether or not you want to have uh, certain people next to her because her passive, if it gets a T4, gives evade and stealth to adjoining allies. So if you have the T4 in her special, you want to have White Tiger and Night Nurse right next to her so that they start with stealth. If, however, you don't have the T4 as I do, then the question really is, who is the lowest health on your team? And then, in why do we care about that? Well, Night Nurse is special, heals the lowest the the lowest health person on the team. Uh, obviously, that'll be after the, that person takes some hits, as well as adjacent allies. But it's not adjacent to her; it's adjacent to the most injured ally. So, what you really want to do is put your low health ally next to two allies that uh, you most want to make sure you're keeping up. Uh, and that's what you'll do if you don't have the T4. So there's not one right answer here. Now, on this attack, usually what you do against a Marauder team is it's pretty straightforward. You use the Electra Alt on Strife. She gets tons of extra focus. It lands Disrupted on Strife. And then you use the Special uh, from White Tiger on Emma, which totally shuts her down. Ability Block for two turns. Disrupt it for two turns. Heal Block. But here we're going to have to use that special on Doom. And we're going to have to go all in on Doom. And then we're going to have to hope, by the way, that we get with some RNG love on that Moon Knight Ultimate, which gives all these debuffs to get defense down on Doom. So that we can burn down Doom before Emma and others can clean him off. And then we're going to have to take on the entire rest of the Marauders. This is going to be quite a challenge. We're still going to put the Disrupt here on Strife. We're going to get hope for some RNG Jesus. Do we get the defense down? And we did not. That's a problem. But we're going to try this anyways because we're all in here. Okay. So now I'm going to use the special here, I think. Yep. To, you, to bring White Tiger into attack, we're going to try. I think we should use the basic here. Yep. These Mind Tricks absolutely do nothing, okay, because 
up. Oh, we do have a cleanse. So now we're going to see. All right, White Tiger is going to do some stuff. We're going to do the flip. And what is more damage? 280. I think we're going to rebound chain here. This is definitely going to take some luck here. The nice thing is I think we can get him down. There we go, just using our basic. So now we're going to take down Strife. That's our new target. I am using her ultimate here, even though we don't need to heal or anything, because there you go. I got the extra speed bar. Fortunately, this mind trick does absolutely nothing. We're going to go after the White Tiger because she's low health. There you go. So we got the speed bar back again on White Tiger. Now we're going to have to hope here. We're going to have to see whether or not we can take down Sinister. I probably should have used that on Emma, but you know what? I may have made a mistake there, but I was just hoping that I could potentially get Sinister off and dead because he had a vulnerable on him. And I, you know what? I, by God, I think we're going to do this. Where we go. See, now we got the speed bar there. We go after Emma. They don't have any DPS left because their mind tricks don't do anything against Shadowland. Absolutely unbelievable. It shows you the power of the Shadowland team. Almost a 200k punch up. And they basically got this in the bag here, right? Look at this. She gets speed bar. White Tiger is just an absolute beast. Absolute beast. Look what she does to Mistake. Unbelievable. Unbelievable punch up. That's what you really have to consider building the Shadowland team. Okay? So what... The keys to the Shadowland team, it's absolutely important to make sure that you get a large White Tiger. So no matter how many stars you have on White Tiger, you want her to be G15. You absolutely have to have the T4 on her special. You absolutely have to have the T4 on her passive. Make sure you look at the guide below. I actually put below the video and the infographic showing you exactly what to do. This team only has 8 T4. So I know some of you were turned off by Shadowland because you said, look, there's so many new characters. I need my T4s. This team is worth the T4s, especially if you're going up against a Doom. Why is that? Because even without some RNG luck, I was able to beat Doom using the White Tiger special. That two-turn ability block is absolutely key. So if you like this video, if you want to see more content like this, please click that like button subscribe to our channel, and then go below to our Discord. Join our community where we have discussions about matchups like this all the time. Go to my Twitch stream, which is also linked below, and check out a lot of our other videos at Infographics.